Hello everyone. I hope you're doing well. Yesterday and the day before yesterday, uh, we were discussing syntactic structure. And in the yesterday's lecture, we discussed sentence as a projection. And we discussed these things generally. Let me give you an overview of the lectures here. Actually, we discussed these very things in the previous lectures that is uh, specific. Uh, sentence as projection, then we discuss the complementizer position of whether, what are other WH words, <coughs> and then we also discuss egocentric categories and endocentric categories, and then we discuss inflection or I and FL or I for short. Then we discuss auxiliary nodes, and we compare the, these nodes in English. Uh, Hindi, Farsi, uh, French, and uh, with English language, and how uh, how the verb in in Urdu differ from the verb in English, then how do verbs inflect in inflect for for genders in in Urdu, and how uh, the verbs remains the same for for verbs oh, sorry for nouns or pronouns in English. Then we also discussed. Uh, tense and agreement uh, then we said that uh, all the classes are uh, plus minus tense and plus uh, plus minus agreement because uh, infinitable infinitable marker do not uh, adopt or follow this tense and agreement <coughs> then we gave this general statement in the end of the lecture whereas today we will extend this lecture further and we will almost uh, complete this lecture in uh, complete this topic in today's lecture here is today's start of the lecture so if we assume that inflection is the head of sentence or s then s will be a projection of inflection phrase or ip so here the writer says that if we assume if let's suppose that inflection is the head of sentence right we also used i or in i and fl in short for inflection so if inflection is the head of sentence like uh, uh, head of sentence like in 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 noun phrase you see that noun is the head of phrase and in verb phrase you see that verb is the head of phrase and whereas here we are assuming that if inflection is the head of sentence then what will happen then s will be a projection of inflection phrase or ip so obviously so as we see that uh, in the verb phrase we uh, verb is a projection of uh, you know that uh, a verb phrase similarly here so if the if inflection is the head of s then s will automatically become the projection of inflection phrase or you can say ip now using our previous schema of using specifier we can rewrite s as so of course we will apply the specifier thing here as well for example we apply this in the verb phrase in uh, in, in the previous lecture we also applied this on noun phrase as well so <coughs> so if we apply this same schema here as well so what will happen i double bar will all be equal to a specifier and i bore this is the same schema or this is the same formula which we also applied in the previous lecture on verb phrases and noun phrases as well so what is uh, i bar here or i or, or you can say that uh, inflection phrase here it would be equal to inflection and verb phrase so and let us part send parse the sentence of the uh, s so it will be sentence would be like this np plus vp under this schema under this according to this formula or regarding to this schema where the inflection is the head of s and s is a projection of inflection so we have this uh, this type of study of s uh, that that is s will uh, that np plus vp will be the projection of s right or we can say that np plus vp will fall under s let us pause a sentence here. Let us study a sentence according to this formula or according to this schema. I will write, uh, sorry, I will drive the car. 
So let us apply this formula here. Here I double bar. And this is the same thing we also applied on the work phrase and noun phrases. Please, uh, please see the previous lectures as well. So I double bar here will be will have two nodes. That is, first one is noun phrase and B, and the other one is I bar. You can assume that where is specifier. So we do not always mention specifier in in the form of words. Sometimes we have specifier. Uh, we always have specifier, but they sometimes we leave their spaces empty in the sentences, right? We do not always fill the position of specifier in the sentences. So here we did not fill the position of specifier. So here the I double bar will have two structures, or you can say that we will uh, apply this uh, I bar, uh, I double bar formula according to this one. That is S. It would be equal to will have this projection that it will be equal to noun phrase plus verb phrase. So here I double bar is they have two nodes that is NP plus VP, but we will write it like write VP like this uh, that is I bar because VP and I etc. These things come come under I bar. Here we have the formula. So we divided <coughs> I double bar into two nodes that is NP plus uh, you can say I bar then under the uh, under NP node we have I this I whereas under this I bar we have I first that is inflection inflection and under inflection we have will and then uh, we also have VP that's a verb phrase or we also we can also say that uh, V bar because V bar is uh, also known as VP and under V bar we have V that is drive and also NP that is the car and we can further divide this NP we can further uh, have two branches under this NP that is under the for determiner and uh, car for noun. Now let us go back to complementizers. As we can see the complementizers that and if go with finite classes so these complementizers that and if uh, if go with finite classes and bar goes with infinitable ones as for whether it can choose both types of classes so whether can can be with can can go with uh, finite classes as well as infinitable classes so let's go back to <coughs> that uh, that thing uh, complementizer thing Let's see what, what was complementizer which we checked in the previous lecture, we discussed in the previous lectures as well. So here we discuss the complementizer. Complementizer position is uh, normally before S, right? Before sentence. Our complementizer position are clearly obvious in sentences beginning with WH words. So here we had the complementizer position in the sentences, whether, what, when etc so these were the complement either position we normally have we put them before send uh, sentences so here we also uh, do a diagram uh, of the complement either version complement either position and normally we use s bar and under the s bar we had complement either words and then we had the whole sentence because we put complement either words wh words before s before sentence <coughs> so let's go back to our today's topic So, if there is no complementizer, we do not say that the slot does not exist at all. So, if you do not find a complementizer in a sentence, you cannot say that there is uh, no slot or no slot exists for that complementizer word. We say that <laughs> the slot is there, but it is empty, right? We do not always uh, fill the slot with the words, right? We always have uh, the slot right we always have the space but we do not always fill the space with the words with the complementizer words so <clears throat> you will understand why we do this it is because our schema remains the same but in some cases we have zero and in other we have some words so in the later lecture uh, in the later part of the lecture of, of the lecture you will understand why do we do so uh, because in some uh, uh, because 
in some portions our schema remains the same because we have zero word we do not have any projection whereas in the other cases we have words and we have projections as well <coughs> complementizer phrases or cp may be seen to have complementizers as in the other schemes so complementizers are headed with complementizer phrases here is a diagram of the thing we discuss here complementizer phrases as we said that complementizer phrases complementizer words are so it's we we do the same diagram here that complementizer phrases are c bar is heading complementizers here and then we have ip or inflection phrases because we at the at the start of the today's lecture we assume that ip or inflection phrases or inflections are the uh, are heading the are heading a sentence then the whole sentence will be a projection of ip so here first of all we said that because uh, complementizer words come before s before sentence so here we kept it before ip or inflection phrases are you can say that overall we kept it the complementizer words or complementizer phrases before the sentence <coughs> then the complementizer uh, then the c bar uh, then from the c bar we have one node that is ip and then from ip we uh, have extracted three nodes uh, two further nodes here that is first one is np that is noun phrase and for noun phrase we have i and for i bar uh, we have first of all inflection that is uh, will is for inflection and then we have vp that is verb phrase so done in the garden is verb phrase then we can further divide the verb phrase in into prepositional phrase and noun phrases in this case the cp is empty because in this sentence look at this sentence i will run in the garden right here we do not have any cp or complementizer phrase or even a complementizer word or a wh word but we can we do not say that the slot does not exist at all slot does exist right here is the slot but it is empty but we can fill it in with weather whether we can use weather here right if we use weather so it so the complementizer position will be filled whether i will run in the garden is doubtful so here we added whether with this sentence or we have filled that sentence uh, or the diagram here with the complementizer phrase or a complementizer word thus it is better to assume that there is a cp position but it is not always filled in so it's the same thing same thing which i have told you earlier of course in the light of our previous schema there will be a specifier too and the schemas which we discussed in the previous lecture so in the light of that schema right we we, we have we also have specifier in in the sentence as well so the structure how so what would be the structure what would be the new structure right uh, because we i have already told you that there are there is always a slot for cp there is always a slot for specifier too but we do not always fill that slot or fill those slots with the words but uh, we, we and we do not when we do not fill those slots we we, we call those slots as empty <clears throat> so here we uh, from complementizer complaint, complaint, phrases or cp we have two nodes first one is specifier and the other node is of c bar and from among c bar we have further two nodes first is complementizer then we have uh, inflection phrase this is the overall schema and on the basis of this schema uh, you can say that this is a kind of final schema for a sentence structure right yeah. Uh, and we started this schema with the with, with phrases noun phrases verb phrases etc and then we uh, then we also discuss specifier then we discuss uh, this ip inflection phrases then we discuss cp so after discussing all these things now we have this final schema cp <coughs> cp has specifier and c bar then c bar has c and ip as well so let us discuss this uh, a schema with the help of some examples here <clears throat> so 
So in this uh, example, if you change the example like this, if you change it into the question form, will I run in the garden if we write a sentence like this? So what will happen? Will move to the specifier position, right? Here, here, will moves here at this place, will occupy this space, then we have the next sentence, right? Because we uh, normally have complementizer and uh, at the start, right? Uh, or you can say that before S, so or even specifier before S. So here, what will happen? Will will occupy, occupy the space of specifier. In such a case, weather will not be this node. We cannot have will weather because if we move will at the start, then we cannot add weather because will weather I run in the garden is is an odd syn syntax. So we we cannot have uh, two words for this node. We can uh, we can have one word this for this specifier. This is so. Uh, how can we write this one? We can write this example in this way. When will I run in the garden? We cannot mm -hmm. write write in this way. Will whether I run in or we cannot write whether will I run in the garden. Rather, we will write in this way. When will I run in the garden? So how, how can we draw a diagram for this one? The tree of this is as follows. So this is the tree of the previous sentence. So at the start we had uh, we have C double bar and from C double bar we have two nodes. First one is our specifier because specifier comes at the start of the sentence or before sentence. So and the second one is of C bar, right? Complementizer phrase you can say. And from among C bar we we are applying this formula here, right? I have already told you that we will apply this final formula. We are applying this formula on this example. <coughs> so here we have C bar and from C bar we have, first of all, we have um, complementizer position because complementizer position comes before S, right? Before sentence. We, I have already told you uh, in the previous lecture and in today's lecture as well. And even before this complementizer position, we have specifier because specifier is a word which specifies something, right? Which tells us uh, a specific about a specific thing about the sentence. Because in this sentence, will I uh, will I run in the garden? In this sentence, we are specifying when will I run in the garden, right? We are specifying something. So this specifier comes at the start uh, because this the position for this specifier is is is. At the very start so when is occupying this specifier position then from c bar we have first of all we have c because c position comes before s our sentence so will comes at c position or will occupy the position of c then we have ip that is inflection phrase and from ip we can have further we can have two nodes first is np we are applying the previous um, formulas which we have already dis discussed right so under the np you have only one uh, uh, noun that is i so again we have from ip we have another node that is i bar or i bar uh, and if we see the formula of i bar we we have i and bp under i bar so i <coughs> that is inflection we do not have any word for i here so we wrote empty right so this slot is not filled with any word when will i run in the garden because we do not have any word here so that's why we wrote empty and under vp we of course have run in the garden that is verb phrase so the auxiliary moves from one head to another this is called head to head movement. So what happens here, the auxiliary moves here from, from here. Because in the previous sentence, we have different position for auxiliary. I will, from from I will position it, it becomes will I. So we, we call this position or this movement as this is called head to head movement. We will not, however, go into the details of the movement here. So, so what happens? This means that question words moves uh, to specifier CP. So this is the question word. It 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 moves to the specifier position, or we can say complement either. Uh, you can say specifier CP right in this position to specifier first. It comes first specifier. Then we have CP or complement either position. So question words move here. And in the main class question, they proceed. 
whereas in the main transmission they precede the inverted auxiliary so uh, if they also precede the inverted auxiliary here in subordinated classes however if you have any subordinate classes so what will happen our wh words do not occur with the complementizers that or whether so if you have complementizers uh, like that or whether so wh questions will not come with them in the subordinate classes however the principle is a general one we have it in our heads and modify it according to the language we speak so we have the general uh, uh, principle in our mind so we modify the language uh, uh, the, uh, the way we speak and according to the general principle which we have in our mind the question is what kind of structure do we have in the mind answer to such questions come from theory that is we speculate that the structure will be like this then we compare it to another model then whichever model gives the minimum complexity must be adopted let us look at some diagram so if the question is okay, which question or, or what kind of structure do we have in mind so the the structure which have minimum complexity that structure should be uh, that structure in the mind should be adopted let us look at some diagrams here for the sentence i am walking so for for the sentence i am walking we have different models of branching here and the 31a we have different branching that is i am walking first of all we have the main node then we I can write one here then we have here so we can uh, uh, have different branches on the basis of schemas which we have which we have already discussed or the, on the basis of formulas which we have already seen in the previous lecture so we for the same sentence we can also have this uh, structure as well in 31b and in 31c as well so let us have a theory which allows only binary branching so binary branching is branching which uh, uh, the, which only allows two branches right which do not allow more than uh, one or two branches for a structure so if we have a principle in mind it will be binary branching is allowed that is the me uh, two branch uh, two branches all of these are ruled out because uh, we normally adopt or follow the structure which is less complex right or we go this the process also known as kind of minimal minimalism this principle is easy it is a minimalist approach uh, rather than some principle which allows all kinds of branching right so it, this is the minimalist principle or approach so it allows it allows it, it do not allow all uh, it doesn't allow all kind of branching right it only allows two branches this kind of structure principles we have been talking about are part of what is called minimal minimalism in grammar so we can also you can see this minimal grammar in and you and course syntax 1997 so this is the end of uh, this syntax structure uh, right phrase structure of phrases and sentence and all of the uh, beautiful and somewhat complex things as well thank you very much for watching if you have any question to ask.